latest big moment in the MTM household was that morning guys I just got finished with the gym and I'm kind of stuck in the parking lot right now just catching my breath uh, it was a really good workout after a very tough morning you know trust and believe life is always doing things to level you up or bring you down to level <laughs> to ground you or build you up and you know it's so funny after yesterday's vlog came out or the day before when it came out for you guys watching now um you know atlas and i had a moment where it was just like you know i was so excited for him he did so well on his tests you know wow who go atlas because we have to celebrate all of our wins with all of our children and you know it's coupled with this morning just having the worst parenting moments in at home trying to get everybody ready and i was saying to myself you know on one hand like you're trying to be such a good parent and you are but on the other hand there are moments that make you feel like the worst parent you say things you don't mean you lose your own temper you lash out in fact you know what you know what this morning felt like for me i felt like i was having a temper tantrum and it is such a sign that like when we get into these moments it's our emotions that are dysregulated right and it's a sign for me it's a symptom of not showing up for myself enough not going to bed on time not, there's too many things happening in a day sometimes that i'm not getting done i'm not prioritizing certain things this is why i really have to try and go to the gym but I, funnily enough also my temper tantrum this morning was around being late because i wasn't going to take the kids i was going to let wayne take the kids but then they hounded me to take them. It made me late and it was just a snowball effect. And I'm saying this to say, you know, anytime that you watch our vlog, which we work so hard to, you know, put together, I want you to remember that we are really also having real life parental struggles, uh, sometimes marital struggles, sometimes, you know, work life balances off. We are dealing with those things too. It's just so easy to constantly paint a picture in your mind of perfection of us. And I, I think it's so important every chance I get to remind you that we are also going through what you are going through. <sighs> I was not hair school calling. Sorry, school just called. Jackson forgot his iPad and he has a presentation to do never ends i tell you anyway i just like i said it's so important to me that you always know that even though we show a lot of the parts that are so nice and we intentionally are not it's, it's, we, we can't share our arguments and the struggles the most we can do is express them to you you know and that is obviously it's important to me that you understand that and i know the vast majority of you do but it's also important to me to let the mommies out there know and the daddies know as well that sometimes you have to show yourself some grace especially in the moments when you're not a beacon of light <laughs> especially in the moments when you're not being the role model you need to be in your home and the way that i measure it up is that if i'm doing better at least 70% of the time, then I can forgive myself when I don't do so well. <sighs> anyway, time to go get Ives. And yeah, we'll see what happens today. Thanks for listening to me rant. Sometimes you just need to tell somebody to, right? <laughs> Phone a friend. <laughs> Ah, let me call Tessie. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Wow, it's a little. Let me see your outfit. Wow, honey. This is nice. <laughs> What's this on your shirt? Pineapple and peaches. You're a pineapple peach? You taking that with you? Okay, hold on. Let's get you in the car. Okay guys, so I'm home now and I'm eating a salad with lentils and chickpeas and some couscous, black beans, all kind of something. And I just did some chicken on top and some 
pear avocado um, and Wayne is gone to sort out some stuff for Jack's taking the iPad to school for me and all that jazz um, I don't really know what's on the agenda today but I have things to do mm. and so yeah also Chinese New Year is coming up let me check what day Chinese New Year is okay it's on february 10th so that's saturday that's tomorrow for you guys watching we never really do anything for chinese new year i used to um like a long time ago before i even had children there were all kinds of events that happened um around jamaica to celebrate chinese new year and this year lo shu san is doing something really fun and they're doing well they do it every year i believe it's like a dragon dance but this year they invited the boys to come and follow behind the dragon, which I'm really excited about. The boys are very excited about it. Ozzy's not as excited about it, but Jackson and Atlas are very excited about following the dragon around because it's actually the year of the dragon this year. I really want them to know different parts of their heritage as well. And our Chinese culture is actually one that we are not very um, good at staying connected to. We just didn't grow up like that. You know, my grandmother, is first generation uh, Chinese Jamaican. So we don't speak any Chinese, any Mandarin, any Hakka. We don't speak any of it. And for many years, you know, it's like it wasn't something that we uh, celebrated like other people in the Chinese community in Jamaica. But it's something I definitely want to pay more attention to. Um, and I definitely as i dive a little deeper into it the boys will learn as well it is important you know i'll probably make like something a chinese meal or we'll buy some chinese food and i'll give them their little red envelopes and stuff like that so a friend of mine offered to lend them some traditional chinese wear that they can wear um for the dragon dance when that happens and so that would be fun for them i'll show you all of that next week after it happens but if you're watching this before or on Chinese New Year, Gang Hi Fat Chai. I know how to say that. <laughs> hey, MTM family, what's good? Just came off the road a while ago, run a couple errands and thing. So I am ready for the road right now. Ready to do my errands with me? Yeah, we're well, gonna hit the road again. Um, Ivy and all the boys are at school now. Latest thing, latest big moment in the MTM household was that Gio went and did a performance yesterday Aww. and it was awesome the the reaction and the response that he got from the girls done by Andrews high school was really really good he will share on his vlog more um, yeah, the um the details on that performance but it was just crazy how I was seeing myself when I was younger and, and just coming up and doing performances on the high school circuit all i could see was myself yeah. and it was just um nice to see how he dealt with it and again the reaction was just crazy it was it was it was ridiculous they, they, them, them love him and thing and it got me thinking how all of our kids are different reflections of us when we were younger but it's just interesting to see how they experience emotions and stuff and it's almost like they are our teacher in a little weird way because we are now mature enough to understand and, and unpack certain things that we were going through back then that we never necessarily mature enough to deal with mm -hmm. so it's just interesting how by their experiences and, and and us being their parents we get to relive you know our lives as children in a weird way and unpack certain things and you know it go deep so it's so interesting how we're also like reflections of our parents too <laughs> because you know in many ways we're also we can see our parents in ourselves now the same conversations that they were having with us were having yeah i was yeah. telling mtm i was having a hard parenting moment this morning and how that's also like a part of the whole thing like you have wins and then you just have these losses sometimes that you just feel like ah but that's how it goes you just we do our best you know 
Yeah. But yesterday, Gio was a that was a big win for him. Um, we felt so much pride and joy for him. I know his mom felt the same way. His grandmother, you know, your mom hasn't seen it yet, but I know, you know, even pops and my mom will just be through the roof when they see that. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of history repeating. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I'm um, also big up to Auntie Tessie. Auntie Tessie was down in Trinidad. I see where a lot of our first cousins in Trinidad were saying, Oh Lord, we see Auntie Tessie. Tessie said she met so many people who were like, I'm a first cousin, you know. Really? Yes. Yeah, and well. I was like, Tessie, did you vlog? She's like, I didn't. I was like, what? <laughs> she goes, You guys have so much love in Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. oh, wait, we have to go to Trinidad. No, definitely. Why definitely. are we? Why? We need to plan it. Yeah. We just need to buckle down and plan it. 100%. 100%. I would love that. Yeah. I would yeah, love yeah. that. Leave your recommendations of where we should stay. Mm -hmm. Like, a place we should stay, an area we should stay in, like where we should eat, like and things to do for the do. For, for us and for the kids and everybody. That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh my god. She turned baby. Hmm? Or she just tired after a long day of school. Yeah. Are you a baby? Uh -huh. A baby. Can you say baby? Baby. She in a skirt though. It's a skirt. It's okay. shorts underneath it because okay. when you're that's a girl, you have to wear your shorts. Okay. Yes, my dear. My dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I'm going to sing. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you guys don't even know, but we just did a million things site visit, meeting, fitting, lunch for you, lunch, <laughs> and we filmed none of it. <laughs> <laughs> what Most goodie? of it was unfilmable though. Your goodie? Woman should have filmed. Yeah, me should have the film. salad. We're the worst vloggers. We're not good. The meeting we couldn't. And I couldn't vlog the sitting either. And nobody wants to see us eating, I don't think. Worst is site visit, so. Yeah. It, we, the, today is that challenging vlog day. We picked up Ozzy too. Pick up Ozzy as well, drop him home. You know, Ozzy did the sweetest thing last night. You know. I have to tell you know I said to you guys earlier we have to like every win is a win mm -hmm. and he last night we were on the couch hugging up and it was very cool as you guys know so we're on that little blanket and he did the sweetest thing he was under the blanket and he says to me mommy do you want some blanket <laughs> and I said yes but it was just very thoughtful yeah, that he did that boy. He's a sweet boy, but you guys don't see when Ozzy is also not a very sweet boy. And we have to be like, Ozzy, mm -hmm. like bad. I literally just bumped into um, one of my aunties. And, you know, we were talking about parenting, you know. As anytime I get a chance to talk about parenting with another parent, especially mommies, I always take the opportunity, especially mommies who have done it. And, you know, she said to me, she goes, you know, Tam, you guys have it so different to us and almost harder than us because there's so much for you guys to contend with you know mm -hmm. like um ipads social media uh games all these different types of games that are available just there's so much to contend with and she was like you know when when we were doing it we thought it was hard and so it's just normal now that you're doing it and you think it's hard you know and i don't think it's gonna get easy i think when Gio and Jackson and Atlas and Oz and Ivy have their babies. They're going to come to us and say, Mom, Dad. It's challenging. I don't know how you did it. 
Yeah. And we're going to say to them, you have it harder than us. Yeah. <laughs> I think every generation come with them fair share of challenges and um, and stuff. But yeah, you're right with the the advent of new media and technology expanding it's and very quickly everything really. is yeah. at everybody's fingertips even before they're developed enough to consume certain information and content yeah. it's being pushed on them so it can yeah it can be challenging for sure definitely parenting is challenging yeah, yeah. The less gaming um more playing definitely you know mm. we're big into more play play time I tell you the truth, I don't always want to play. You know? <laughs> playing for us is not fun. Playing is parenting, you know? Like, it's not like when we were kids and we were playing. Like, that was for when we were kids, but it's, it, it's tough to join them sometimes. So, two time around the thing with Ivy today, and I'm like, I'm it's tired. tired. <laughs> and it's actually, it's <laughs> not fun. <laughs> hey. There's such a big difference in our energy level when Gio was two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. To us now, with four, five, six. <laughs> hey, the other day, my shame like dog, my shame, my shame, my shame, my shame. I tell you, I sit down for a while, you know. And you know, sometimes when you sit down for long and you get up back, as somebody in them forties now, you, you have me have a little knee thing. Mm -hmm. When I, I'm a kind of a limping to me thing but when me in a public me, me try my best no limping no. me I would say me I walk nice and straight and good enough you know. here 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 a virgin you know. mom me G you hurt come see you limping you know. I say it sees it sees up I sees my foot sees up little mm -hmm. because I have a little knee thing when me I deal with you now I'm a habit to me I walk straight I make sure concentrate and I get up and I say alright you know I'm now with no straight. weakness to my thing walk straight walk straight watch yeah. me now I said, wow, good and nice now. My guy said, yo, you yeah, play ball, angel. Oh, no. I said, wow. Wayne, that's why, that's why, you know, makes sense look my young girl, you know. <laughs> right, so the box stop. Tell me, what's with you, I hear me? The other day, me a massage, tell me, I'm a stay, so me a stretch, tell me, tell me, say, no, look here, watch your knee. It's like an elastic band, like it won't pop. The young boy don't want a woman to camp in up. That's right, that's why I stick it with my old guy. That's why. Yeah. This is what it is, man. Oh boy, what's going on in our world? Chinese New Year? Chinese, I told them about it. Mommy Chinese New Year. Mommy Yi Fat Choi. You know, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> I remember say I'm five percent Chinese. You know? I'm more than five percent. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a strong fifteen. <laughs>